Well, bonjour, to vous. That's the sort of sophisticated patter you'll get from a woman who's still got a boyfriend. <laughs> Though elegance in the world of romance eludes me. Oh, wow, look, a robin. Lovely. <laughs> But I'm proving myself a good lady woman for Mike. <laughs> well, I don't want to lose him, he's great. But Operation Maintain Dignity means a suppressed silliness bursts out at inappropriate moments. Now, close your eyes. Breathe. <laughs> In and out. Relaxed, peaceful and calm as you open up. <laughs> But generally, I'm sophisticated girlfriend personified. I know this because A, I now own a pashmina, and B, I've stopped giggling when people say sausage. <laughs> without Mike and the real you explode. Well, I'm not ready for him to know that I make fruit friends and new vegetable pals. Meet Mr. Butternut. Hello to you. I don't want that to put him off. And what are you wearing? I happen to be sporting an elasticated culotte. <laughs> because you're a PE teacher from 1987? I've got nothing else left to wear. Washing machine's broken. Do you want to round a swing muffin? Of course. <laughs> Good luck. And I just uh, mm. Mm. Oh, I've missed you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've, I've missed you too. I just came to get a glimpse, really. I've... Oh, come down. Pass my pashmina. No. <laughs> it's my chic look. What's that? That is Stevie's. Yeah, it's mine. Well, it's my friend's. I'm looking after it while she's away. She didn't want to leave him in a kennel. <laughs> Do you want to play a game? I'm walking. <laughs> oh, come on, we could play What Cereal Am I? Or uh, Can We Fit Stevie in a Pillowcase? <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> My pants have gone uh, northwards. <laughs> oh, specifically, north northeast. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> But I washed these last pair of pants in the dishwasher and it sort of melted them. <laughs> it was resourceful. Oh dear, no. <laughs> it's getting really uncomfortable now, actually. I'm going to have to take my pants off. <laughs> Sorry, sir, I didn't see you and immediately think I must take my pants off. <laughs> 
I'm not being lewd. <laughs> Do you excuse me? Excuse me. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not sure about this going commando business. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm a culotte incident away from moonery, careful. <laughs> for the adult world of relationships is beyond me. For that statement, I find myself begging your pardon. You're pretending to be someone you're not when you're with Mike. Then one night without him, you're a child again. And the notion of not wearing pants is hilarious. <laughs> Just popping your maturity on the end of my flagpole. You're just jealous, Miss Singlety Pops. I'm a functioning adult in a mature relationship. Darling, I got your bed sheets. I ironed the Knight Rider duvet because David Hasselhoff was looking peculiar. <laughs> does is sort out your life. Excuse me, little Miss Oompa Loompa. <laughs> I have a very busy life. I'm having work done on my kitchen. There are lunches, rotors. This week I'm on the rotor rote of a rotary. <laughs> I only did these because Miranda has to find a new plumber. It's just down there, Governor, my, my friend, all right? Sort of groom, justice. OK, love. Let's just quickly seal this crap, shall we? <laughs> right, I'm to have a mature adult day about town fully commando. Actually, I'm beginning to enjoy the freedom now. <laughs> I've been pantless since... Don't say that. <laughs> I skinny dipped with Christopher Plummer me thrice. <laughs> Such fun! I'll never recover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's breezy. <laughs> How do you negotiate the frozen food aisles? <laughs> Serious woman. <laughs> I'm not wearing any pants. Enjoy your meatballs. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Hi, Rose. Hey. Where did you put the muslins, Papa Bear? What's going on? Well, I was meant to be babysitting for Chris and Alison, but I've got this urgent loan application I've got to fill out. Tell her. He's buying the restaurant. <laughs> Wow, that's so exciting, Carrie. Thank you. Congrats, babe. Thanks, darling. See you later. Yeah. You sure you can't help us, Gary? Well, hello, babysitter. Uh, well, hello, responsibility. Hello, rude. <laughs> we're, uh, we're having a little bosom leakage. <laughs> oh, still breastfeeding. Well, nothing beats mother's that, eh? <laughs> so, uh, good news. Miranda's off to babysit. Oh, well, we're desperate. Uh, it's only a couple of hours. It's a hospital appointment. She's got to have a scrape. Oh, right. OK, now that's the kind of word you should mouth, all right? <laughs> you want to try for another. You might try for another. Only I can speak for my vagina. Why? <laughs> Why? Why, Delilah? <laughs> Auntie Miranda, we've booked a music session at the Soft Play Centre. So, nappies, wipes, spare wipes, uh, Mr. Boo Boo. <laughs> now, come on, dumpling. <laughs> Thank you. Your life's over. Oh, nearly <laughs> snog, sir. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Sophisticated lady uh, coming through. <laughs> oh, madam. Get that fun, aren't we, little? <laughs> It's nearly time to finish up 
So on to the final round. She sings every thing. It's totally brilliant. And on that song, he had a... My turn. Uh, dolphin out of that. <laughs> with a... Here There. Here There. Everywhere. I think we ought to be able to ease that. So, if you'd like to get down to your bra, bra and vest and pants, um, then um, I'll pop back in a moment. Twenty milligrams of Volterol should do the trick. <laughs> and uh, tell her that I'll speak to her when I've seen my patient. Oh my! You do need the paper on the couch. I, I, I presumed it was there for origami. <laughs> Hence the origami pants slash nappy. <laughs> Has anyone ever done you a swan? Or... No, you're the first patient who's done origami. <laughs> well, it's a happy day for us both, then, isn't it? <laughs> so if you'd like to lie face up on the couch, please. As the osteo said to the patient. <laughs> no? <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Intimate, isn't it? <laughs> we'll have to become engaged after this, sir. <laughs> If you'd like to lie on your side, please. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did we just consummate our engagement? <laughs> so, just one final stretch, okay? <laughs> Day to you. One, why are you wearing your Where's Miranda outfit? <laughs> and B, how is your mature day about town? One, I've only got this left to wear, washing machine's still broken. And B, I got stuck in a tunnel in a soft play centre, did my back in, went pantless to an osteopath where I farted and blew out a candle. <laughs> I don't. I know. I know. And instead of getting over it like a normal 30-something with a glass of wine and a leaf through Tatler, last night I got a felt-tip pen and decorated my breasts as Jedward. <laughs> Mike is going to realise I'm a nonsense and dump me. Then, sire, I throw down that it's time to grow up and do without mummy gauntlet. <laughs> well, sire... I pick up your gauntlet with such verve and vigour I smash it about your tiny little face. <laughs> hey, 
quirky. <laughs> Listen, about tonight, I just had a call from Dad. He's really down, so I said I'd go out with him tonight. No worries. Well, actually, he asked about finally meeting you. Oh, that's a step. I'm, I'm not sure. If Gauntlet! That... Gauntlet! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, good. No, I would like to meet my boyfriend's father. Bring him round. I'll cook. Great. A bit nervous. With previous girlfriends, there's always been a bit of a culling. Culling? He's, he's particular. Is he? <laughs> I've stitched your bra. Bra, 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 bra. That's how excited I am about tonight. It's just I am with Gauntlet, and from now on, I take all adult tasks on. For tonight, I cook for my boyfriend's father. Sire. <laughs> it's for Mike's father? Uh, yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine. Very happy not to get involved, sire. <laughs> but I'm around to live well. Wine glasses, not tumblers, and use the crockery your aunt left you. Penny, go! Which one's that? The flowery one. No, which one's crockery, plates or spoons? Help us all. Bye, darling. Bye, Mummy. Oh, it's for your own good. <laughs> Red wine meat, white wine fish, and if in doubt, deal it. Oi! <laughs> I knew you'd never do it. Mature relationship. Oh, well, now I have had enough of this doubting little Miss and Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. And tonight I shall have a couple's dinner party. And without your help, I shall have a soiree with home cooked fare and good crockery, which is plate. <laughs> and there should be Buble on the stereo, and I won't even laugh at the name Buble. <laughs> it's got boob in it. <laughs> Stevie, if you manage to get a boyfriend by tonight, do come. <laughs> Right, ingredients, hello to you. Alfalfa, I thought you were a llama, but a hearty welcome. Right, let's do this. Can't be that hard. It's really hard. At one point, I was told to skiffle carrots. Skiffle? Am I to play them a percussive instrument and dance for them? Hello, carrots. I'm confused. Tuspa with Tuspaba. <laughs> Trying to do a salmon terrine starter. <laughs> Who can strike clean a piece of cling film? <laughs> I was going to do crepes as that for pudding, but, um... <laughs> Penis pasta, what's that doing there? That's not fun to eat in your 30s. <laughs> I see only one option. Sorry. All hail, a tureen. Even potatoes. Why do we bother cooking? Why? They're doing this fish by the six and they'll never know. Praise the nest, putting food on our table, cause cooking drives us crazy, but busy slash lazy, all the body bristles are available. Lovely, thank you. Now go, ladies, go, decant in your own dishes and lie. <laughs> me a wonky throw. Now, are you sure you don't mind us babysitting? I'm really sorry. I just had to make up to Chris and Alison. Cool. Can I put the baby monitor here? I'm not interfering. If I were, I'd say, 
dab that stain off your dress. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Mother, this is soap because I hand-washed it and I've called the plumber back. I am an in-control adult with my cocktail sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Boyfriend, we come for the dinner party. You have clearly destroyed a traffic warden off the street. No, no, we're seeing each other. Get off me. <laughs> Babe, come and help me settle him. Yeah, yeah, sure. Get this out. Yeah, she bought the shop about four years ago. Bum, bummery that hair. Okay, act normal, act normal. No, more natural, more natural. Miranda, this is my father. Well, well. Very nice to meet you, Miranda. Very nice to meet you too, Mr. Chapford. Call me Valerie. Yeah, good one. Call me Derek. <laughs> Dad's name is Valerie. What's your mum called? Dave. <laughs> right. Um, let me introduce you to my mother. For for tonight, you are a Valerie Singleton. If you. <laughs> Dad, this is Henry. Stevie Osterman. He was the osteopath. No. <gasps> Sir, um, could I take your coat? <laughs> so lovely. And your keys? Or shall I throw them in a bowl? <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. Sorry, are you OK? Yes, of course. Yes, now. Do sit down, let me plump you a scatter cushion. <laughs> Help yourself to sausages. <laughs> Can I get you a warming glass au rouge? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so getting cold. <laughs> wig, wig, wig. <laughs> There you go. Oh, thank you. Now do relax in my nibble and mingle zone. <laughs> so let's do it. He's just done an explosive poo right up to his armpits. <laughs> well, on that note, I think I'll leave. <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah. It was a joke. <laughs> I shat myself once. Just sort out my dessert. I've got syphilis. <laughs> the salis, the salis, the fruit, exotic fruit. I have not got syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh to delay. <laughs> now you know what's for dessert, but for starter we're having a smoked salmon terrine. And for Maine, we shall be having lamb. So the terrines, I'll just get them out. And the terrines. <laughs> it's a joke about getting your breasts out instead of the terrines. <laughs> One for you. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Shall we say grace? Oh, 
Oh, yes. Oh, right. Yes, well, of course. We always do. <laughs> Me? Bright? <laughs> um, Lord, um, we thank you for the music. <laughs> The songs we're singing, and um, we thank you for your bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more, warm, warm, warm. feed me till I want no more so much, thank you very much to you, God, please, amen. <laughs> Um, well, skills, um, utensils, terrain mix, terrain powder. I think I've got a bit of pants in my terrain. <laughs> They'll be Miranda's. You had to wash them in the dishwasher. Why, <laughs> right, excuse me while I just check on my gravy? <laughs> thinking of having children, Miranda? All that dribbling and talking gibberish, you've got plenty in common. <laughs> do you think you could do the laugh while you're making the joke? <laughs> that way there won't be any false starts. I think she'd make a great mum. Well... She's already got a very weak pelvic floor. <laughs> Such fun! Uh, Penny, why don't you tell us about the work you're having done? Yes, what are you having done? The uh, crow's feet, I can see. What On my kitchen! On my kitchen, you stupid old... Shall we try to change? Shall we? Heads, shoulders, knees and toes. It's a kid's game. Yes, it's a ridiculous suggestion. I, mean, I prefer dinner party convo. So, um, well, Norman, wh what do you do for a hobby? I like to let kittens feed from my beard. <laughs> the were game, you know, if you could be a were animal for one night, like a werewolf, what animal would you be? What, like Valerie would be a were toupee. <laughs> My lamb looks okay. I've made a new gravy. I'm clawing it back. <laughs> My meat's gone over. Oh, hot, five second rule. Hot, five second rule. Hot, five second rule. is going on. My meat's gone over. Oh, Valerie thinks I'm insane. You're not helping. Now, listen here. I like Mike, and you are more than good enough for him. I do not like Valerie. I will not be dictated to by Stevie, the crazed leprechaun, and a man with a dead badger on his head. <laughs> we stick together. Oh, Mummy, help me with a new main course. <gasps> Mum, the microwave's about to go ping. I put the M&S potatoes in there. What are you two up to in there? Nothing! <laughs> <laughs> so, we thought we saw a uh, mouse. mouse. What? <laughs> really, Bay? Oh, you need to man up. I am so pleased my daughter's moved on to your lovely son, Vanessa. <laughs> what do you mean, moved on? She's had a thing for Gary for years. 
Well, it wasn't was really, really a thing. thing. Well, was it a thing or wasn't it a thing? Well, if you can call a couple of dates... You dated? Well, nothing ever really happened. Oh, tell me about it. On, off, on, off. <laughs> and do you still want it to be on? No, 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 no. no, no. No! no. <laughs> I'll give you a hand. Yeah. <laughs> you are not doing Miranda any favours. She's on a losing streak with that Valerie. Her first proper boyfriend and the father's got the personality of a self-service checker. <laughs> oh, that weak. It's like roadkill. Yes, well, if Miranda gets desperate, we can always grill that. <laughs> <laughs> this monitor's on, isn't it? <laughs> Brazen we. <laughs> Sir, can I get you a drink? Would you like a tea, perhaps a chamomile? She's got a red bush. The tea! The tea! <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of crepes. Is that <laughs> Son, I've had enough of this. I don't care to come to a so-called dinner party to be insulted by your girlfriend's freaky friends and dysfunctional family. Excuse me, my functional is not dysfamily. We are not functional. <laughs> Mr. Jackford, I know I haven't portrayed myself well, but I am a capable woman. Then why is foam rising throughout your kitchen? <laughs> I put fairy liquid in the dishwasher. <laughs> Hello? I'm only coming in if you don't wax my crack again, all right? <laughs> Is that penis, Pastor? Right. That's it. I drop the gauntlet. For the last two days, I've tried to be a grown-up, but I have no interest in abiding by the adult rule book. I want to do fun things that make me happy, which, by the way, for the record, include making vegetables, meat, <laughs> Mr. Butternut. <laughs> you might call me a child good, for if adults had even the slightest in the moment joy of a child, then frankly, the world would be a better place. <laughs> oh, and the terrine. M&S. <laughs> well, I bet you're glad your thing with her's over now. No. Miranda's my best friend, Rose, and I'm not going to say what you want me to say, so if you can't handle that, then do you know what? It's over. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> two, 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 two. No, I'm staying. These last two days, I've been worried that you weren't who I thought you were because I was falling in love with you. Your ridiculous sense of humour and your smile and the way that you bring me out of my boring shell and... Well, hearing what you just said, I realised I have fallen in love with you. I love you, Quirky. <laughs> Get up! And do you know what I really want to do?
well, bonjour to vous. That's the sort of sophisticated patter you'll get from a woman who's still got a boyfriend. <laughs> Though elegance in the world of romance eludes me. Oh, wow, look, a robin. Lovely. <laughs> I'm proving myself a good lady woman for Mike. Psst. <laughs> well, I don't want to lose him. He's great. But Operation Maintain Dignity means a suppressed silliness bursts out at inappropriate moments. Now, close your eyes. Breathe. <laughs> In and out. Relaxed, peaceful and calm. Let's open our eyes. Generally, I'm sophisticated girlfriend personified. I know this because A, I now own a pashmina, and B, I've stopped giggling when people say sausage. 